Hey, this is Phil. So we have a little project here. Um, these are two little angels, concrete angels I picked up today at a store on Route 1 just above Garrisonville. If you're heading north, it's on the left-hand side. They have a bunch of these concrete statues of all different types uh, sitting out. And the, the store, you got to walk in the store. Man, the store's got all kinds of stuff, and it's run by a wonderful old man that he's just full of character and uh, but what happened here was my wife had bought some porch angels and we never protected them I never protected them god darn it I'll just face it up to the fact I screwed up and what happened was over the years the rain ate into their heads and they just got really gross looking and uh, I don't think those were concrete angels. I think those were resin angels uh, because it, it, the way it ate away at the base, especially down here at the bottom, uh, where the water bounced up on it, uh, was terrible. So I bought these concrete angels, and I was determined to not have the same thing happen to these. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sealing these with with paint and knuckleheads out here. Now knucklehead never wants to come in here but now that I'm talking to you she wants to come in here. I'm actually in our pantry. Our little these are sitting on top of the washer and dryer because it's pretty much the only flat spot I got in the house. And they're sitting on uh, sheet pans, uh, cooking sheet pans that I have that's the pizza box I cut the top of the pizza box and I put paper on the sides to protect the sheet pan. And outside right now it's 35 degrees. So you got to get outside the the cans of paint I'm using. It, I'm glad I went to Lowe's. I'm glad I got this. I got Rust-Oleum. I didn't realize I got two different brands. I got Rust-Oleum two times white flat white primer, which I sprayed it with this first, okay, to put a etching into the concrete so that there'd be something for the paint to stick. And then what we used. Uh, this is has already had its coat of this of the final coat and I'm not going for This is fusion all-in-one paint and primer five times stronger adhesion satin white. I went with a satin color Because I do want a little bit of a shine. I just don't want a massive shine, you know and The satin white is a really good all-around color even in your home satin is a wonderful color as long as your walls don't have a lot of holes or patches in them as long as they're pretty smooth satin's good but if you have holes that have lots of patches you definitely want to go with flat anyway never you want you don't never want to use cans of paint on your walls <laughs> but anyway so this is the uh end product here uh of what this looks like and what hopefully this will do is give the concrete a chance to resist the I, mean, I guess it's acid rain or it's just the rain falling down now I will be moving these up underneath the porch because they were sitting out on the stair steps. Um, so they'll be more protected. What we're trying to do uh, is, is just make this last longer. Um, uh, I thought about, you know, I talked to the guy at the statue place and he said, you know, use a foundation paint. And if you use foundation paint, you can save the can and use it later somewhere else, you know. And I was like, yeah, okay. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to put a coat of this on it and see what happens. I do have to take these, and I'm waiting for them to dry. i got to let them dry more because if I lean them back on the knucklehead, is really wanting to get in here. If And I just fed her too, on it. I just fed you, knucklehead. Anyway, um, I'm going to lean these back on the wings but I gotta let them dry for another two hours or so because I don't want to lean them back on the wings because I have to get underneath here to I can still feel they're kind of sticky I need to get under here because what we're trying to do here is we're trying to seal the concrete we don't want the concrete to soak in water um, and what it concrete will do is it it is uh, porous and it will soak, it will uh, allow moisture, air, moisture in the air to get inside of it. And once it does that, uh, 
the degradation really starts happening for real. So I just want to show you my little project here. This is a little Veterans Day project. Uh, two little porch angels I got, and they were thirty-five bucks each, and they're concrete, and they're and they're about ten inches tall, and just adorable. Uh, but you know, so I just thought I'd show this to you. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you later. I'm going to finish this up. I got to let these sit for another. It's about five thirty a.m. in the morning right now. I've been up since about two since I made that video about the pizza. Um, I had a good night's sleep. I got took a bunch of melatonin and well three not a bunch but I took three melatonin crashed out woke up at two was wide awake and so the day's been rolling along uh, in about eh, maybe about an hour I might lean these back and then take them back outside I'm going to spray the bottom with the primer again and then I'll let it dry and then I'll spray it with the uh, Krylon top coat the satin top coat on the bottom to seal it so it'll be sealed all the way around as much as it can be um, but I'm real happy with these I, I was looking for these for a long time because my wife loved to have those angels on the porch and they just got looking terrible they look like something out of a horror story but uh, these little angels are a really nice dedication to my wife and uh, I really enjoy getting this done so just thought I'd show you what I'm doing and uh, have a great uh, Veterans Day and we'll talk to you all later on the next video knucklehead is trying to get in this pantry <laughs> but you know what it is it's because I'm shooting a video and she knows I'm shooting a video she knows I'm shooting a video she is just a trip she's smart as she can be anyway y'all have a good one peace